Over the past six months, the team from the Quality Unit and Project Implementation Unit within the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs and staff members from health facilities participated in a quality improvement training which comprised three modules. The training, which was facilitated by healthcare quality improvement consultant Eileen Patterson, provided participants with an opportunity to explore quality improvement in healthcare with the focus specifically on screening and treatment for diabetes and hypertension. Patterson is confident that participants have gained valuable knowledge of the quality improvement methods and tools to assist them with delivering better care to patients at the facilities. The participants are going to be confident that they have the tool set, the skills, the information that can take them to the next level in terms of the hypertension and diabetes care that they are providing at a population level. It's remarkable the talents and the commitment that come into play in uh, using these tools, some of which are very new, um, some of which are, uh, are ones that they have to adapt in order to make them work for them. And yet, between the sessions that we've been doing over the last six months, then people have been bringing these tools to their team and then coming back and talking about the successes that they've had and inspiring their colleagues to do the same. PBF program coordinator Neam Jabatis says he is pleased with the training as it introduces the concepts of quality improvement and allows the health facilities to lead on their own quality improvement plan to bring about better patient outcomes. Mr. Jabatis spoke on his expectations from the training. The knowledge and the skills of the nurses and that those will be the people actually implementing the program is improved. That will be the first expectation. The second one, we're looking at uh, uh, quality teams being developed at the different uh, facilities. I think they did receive some training uh, in that regard. And of course, the last one is implementing um, those quality programs so that we can see uh, um, uh, uh, clients, a lot more satisfied clients or better satisfied clients and also, as providers, uh, know that we are giving um, the best possible care uh, to persons with respect to diabetes and hypertension now, but in the future, to, as, we, as we expand to other services. Community health nurse at the Jack Mel Wellness Center, Francilia Lubrin, hailed the knowledge and skills acquired through the quality improvement training and looks forward to bringing change to the quality of care provided to patients. The experience has been fantastic because we have been learning a lot. Now get to understand what, is re what PBF is really about, what we need to do at our different wellness centers. We get to um, share ideas with the different regions also getting ideas that we don't have we should, when, while sharing our ideas. We um, got to know what tools we have to use during the PBF program. Participants of the quality improvement training are expected to transfer the knowledge to other staff members at their facilities and the participating facilities in phase two of the PBF pilot program. From the project implementation unit within the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I am Funel Neptune.